One of the exciting new features of the Cartograph for iPad application is the ability to perform PCI inspections right in the field. We knew when building PCI inspections for OMS that using the mobile device in the field to perform PCI inspections would be the desired experience. In this scenario, I'm going to walk you through the process of performing a PCI inspection with the iPad application and showing you how easy and intuitive this process is. If we go to the iPad here, you can see that uh, the user I'm logged in at is, is sitting next to a pavement segment that needs to be inspected. If I tap on that pavement segment here, I can see there's a task out there to perform that inspection. When I click on it, I can see that once I'm sitting on the task details screen, I've got a start inspection button in the top right corner that becomes activated. If I go ahead and click on that, it'll still take me to the inspection uh, details screen. One of the unique things I see because this is a pavement inspection is I do have a PCI condition category. If I hit the Start button on that, this will open up uh, a dialog box that allows me to select a new single sample, previous sample, or generate an Army Corps of Engineers sample. I'm going to go ahead and generate the Army Corps of Engineers samples. When I do that, I can see that there, the system brought over two samples that identified uh, based on the payment's length. From this screen, I can either go to the sample, or I can also add a brand new sample as well. So if I go ahead and I add a new sample, for instance, I can go ahead and add a new sample. Go ahead and put 200 to 250. And you can see that that sample gets added successfully. When I'm ready to perform my inspection of these samples, all I would need to do is tap on the sample itself. So if I tap on sample one, you can see now that I'm sitting on the sample detail screen, I can perform my uh, inspection and, and decide what are my detailed distresses. When I click on the distress box here, it'll bring up a list of all the different distresses that applies to this particular pavement type. So because this is asphalt, these are the different distresses that apply to my asphalt. So for instance, if this particular distress I found has alligator cracking, you can see that the system will then bring up the different pictures of the severity of that alligator cracking. So from here, I'm going to type in what, what is my extent, and then what is my severity. So you can see once I do that, the distress is now added to this particular sample. I can also add multiple distresses. So for instance, if this sample also has some pothole issues, I can go ahead and I can choose the potholes distress. And again, I can also put in my extent and then also put in my severity. So if I put in high severity for this and add distress, that will now also get added to my particular uh, distress on the sample. I can also, with this application, add pictures as well. So if I wanted to take a picture of that, I, that pothole, I could go out to my photo library here and attach a picture to that particular um, inspection here. Once I'm done with this sample, all I would need to do is swipe to get to my next uh, sample and inspect it. So we use very common um, terms to use when you use a, a touchscreen device. So if I just swipe to the left here, you can see it brings me over to the next sample. Uh, so of this sample here, I can say maybe the sample is, has no problem. So if I hit just no distress is found, and then swipe over to the next one and hit no distress is found as well, that will now complete my inspection. So if I go ahead and hit done, you can see that once I come back to my main inspection details screen, this will display that it gave me a rating automatically of average for the overall PCI inspection. So to complete this inspection, all I would need to do is just give a rating for these other condition categories. So for cracks, maybe it's average, potholes, fair, ride is good, and the surface is average. Once I'm done, all I would do is hit save, and then complete this inspection. Once I'm done with my inspection, it'll take me back to my task details screen. Now before I complete this task, I want to add my labor as well. So go ahead and put my hours on this. And then go ahead and save. And then complete this task. So to recap, this is um, the process of how easy and intuitive it is to add and perform PCI inspections in the field.